Hello, claim freaks and germaphobes. It's been over two years since we did how to get pee out of the mattress video, and it has over 1 million views, and we did it on a mattress that didn't have any memory foam in it. So today I'm going to show you how to get pee out of a memory foam mattress, and we're gonna use ingredients that you have around the house that are easy and cheap, and it really works. We have hundreds and hundreds of comments showing how it works and I've done this before and I wanna show you how to do it. So on that video, we had tons of questions. I'm gonna to try to go over some of them today, but if I miss any, make sure you leave a comment and we'll answer all your questions. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos about cleaning. Now, mattresses are super expensive and who wants to risk losing one? And maybe your kids peed on it. Go back to sleep, all right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to sleep. Nighty night. I wet my bed. That your dog peed on it, and maybe you just got really drunk one night. Like, got drunk and threw up on it? <laughs> and peed the bed. Oh, and peed the bed. Haven't you heard of that? Whatever reason, there's no shame in it, and we'll get that mattress clean in no time. Now, this mattress, has a cover and the, there was pee on the cover, but my friend washed it so you can't see anything. But when you peel back the cover, you can see the pee stains. And so I don't smell anything at all, which is unusual. Usually it stinks. This looks really gross and it stinks too. Yeah. This method will also take the smell out. First, what you're going to need. 3% hydrogen peroxide. It's really cheap. It's like two bucks for this. Then some kind of liquid dishwashing soap like Dawn. That's what I'm gonna use. And then baking soda. So I use it so much in cleaning that I buy it in bulk. A measuring cup, an empty spray bottle, and a vacuum cleaner. Now, if you don't have a vacuum cleaner, don't worry, I'll tell you what to do when we get to that part. And last of all, I would wear gloves. This is my friend Ronnie. Ronnie, how did this happen? Um, it's called having a toddler and they don't stay in their bed. They come and get in bed with you and then you wake up to mom, I peed. How does your husband feel about us cleaning this mattress? Um, he's not excited at all. In fact, he said that Janet's gonna buy us a new one if she ruins it. Okay, so the pressure <laughs> is on. <laughs> My friend Ronnie's husband is so scared about me cleaning their mattress. They spent a thousand bucks on it a year ago and he's freaked out that I'm gonna ruin it. And no matter how much I reassure him that I've cleaned so many mattresses and I've never ruined one. Okay, wait. We did use our test mattress so many times that it got mold and we took it to the dump. But I've never ruined a perfectly good mattress before. And even though I'm super confident that I can get it out, there's a little part of me that's worried because I don't want to buy a thousand dollar mattress for him. So I hope that I can get it out completely. Okay, to start with, we're going to put eight ounces of hydrogen peroxide. Eight ounces is one cup, and if you wanna double it, because you have a lot of pee, put in two cups. Now, next, we're gonna put in a couple drops of the dishwashing soap. And at this point, we just wanna put this mixture into the spray bottle. Okay, I have learned some things since the first video, and that is, no matter what you do, if you put the baking soda in the spray bottle, it's gonna clog. So I have a new method. We're gonna spray this mixture on the spots and then we're gonna sprinkle baking soda over top of that. Just shake this up. If you have wet pee and it's not dried yet, what you wanna do is take a towel, a dry towel, and just blot it, you know, get as much of the pee out as you can because you don't want it to work on it really wet. This is like a sponge. If you wanna sleep on this tonight, you're gonna have to like get the liquid out as much as you can. And we have ways that I'll tell you to try to help speed that up. But in the meantime, just don't put on too much. Now I know some of you are gonna say, I don't have a spray bottle, and if you don't, you're just gonna have to pour it on. If you don't have any baking soda, people ask me if they can use baking powder, and actually baking powder does have baking soda in it, and you can use it. It's just better if you have baking soda. Baking soda is gonna absorb the liquid and the odor. And hydrogen peroxide has antimicrobial properties, so you're also disinfecting it. I'm just gonna spread this around because it is wet. It's gonna kind of form a paste and get off any excess because you don't want the fan to blow off the baking soda. All right, this is all treated. We have two fans that we're gonna put on. Now, if you don't have a fan, that's okay. You can try a hairdryer if it's a small spot. 
You can put it outside if it's a warm, sunny day and that will help it dry faster too. All right, we, we have these fans and we just pointed them right at the stain right there and we're gonna let it do its magic. We're gonna time how long it takes and I'll come back and let you know. If you don't have a vacuum, you can do things like use a towel or a broom even to get off as much of the baking soda as you can. Okay, we're back and it took about three hours, which is a lot faster than I expected, but look at it, you cannot see any of the pee. And I was a little bit worried while we were treating it because I could see the pee still there, but once it dried and we vacuumed it, you can't see any. Once I showed Ronnie though, I got a little bit of a hesitation because the fire sock is a bit like yellow already and the place that we treated is really white. So there is a line around it and it looks bleached out. So let's see what Fabio says. Hey Fabio, uh, I heard you were kind of a little bit apprehensive about me cleaning your mattress. Yeah. Um, so uh, how'd, it, how'd it turn out? My wife showed me the pictures and it seemed really well. You're not upset about it kind of bleaching? No. Just no? Nobody ever looks at their mattress. They you're just sleep on it. <laughs> so you're happy! Yay! Okay guys, I'm gonna be really serious here. Diana and I are very big mattress protector advocates. You don't wanna to have to do this again. So make sure that you have a waterproof mattress protector on your bed. Now we really love Goop. We'll put a link in the video description. So we have 20 cups of water and apple juice on this. Um, nobody should be peeing that much at night. If you are, I highly recommend you go see your doctor. So a tiny little bit has leaked over at that edge. I guess that's what happens if uh, you do pee that much. Of course, underneath that is the mattress protector. And really quick, I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, there's absolutely no water, no dampness. So, I mean, I would say as a whole, this unit definitely is done doing what it's supposed to do. So if, you know, you do pee 20 cups of pee at night and it does overflow. Or maybe it's you are peeing, your spouse is peeing, and your dog is peeing. All of you pee. All night. 20 cups and it does spill over off the incontinence pad, you are still double protected because you have the mattress protector.